Hi folks, Rich Pacini from RGPacini.com. Coming to you to do a quick demo video. I mean quick. I don't want to make this too long. So, um, but I'm here about, I just want to talk to you about uh, this radio I'm selling here. Um, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, why does this guy do videos on electronics and talk about different things, showing, you know, showing things in action or just showing things in general. Um, I like to do these videos uh, to give the potential buyer an idea as to what they're getting. I like to talk a little about the item. Um, and give you a little overview on it, you know, the condition of it, if it works, it doesn't work, and so on and so forth. So without further ado, uh, I don't want to keep talking about what I'm talking about as far as make, making the videos, so let's just get started. Here we have the um, Sony radio over here. It's the ICF, I believe, um, sorry folks, it's the ICF C3W. Um, the condition of this here, of this phone, uh, phone. The uh, clock radio is pretty clean condition, as you can see. I know the video uh, might show things, make it look everything perfect, but I'm telling you uh, up front, because I'm in person seeing it, um, it does have light wear on it, not much. Uh, it does work great. Um, I'm gonna test, I'm gonna plug it on, test it on, you know, test it for you guys. Um, this little sticker here, I know I could probably take it off, but I'm gonna leave it on. See, it says simulated wood. You know, just so you guys know, I don't want you to think oh, this is real wood. Well, you would know anyway, because wood's not shiny like that anyway. Uh, not that way anyway. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's got the similar wood on both sides. The overall uh, controls are pretty good. The, you know, the, the condition of the radio, the clock radio, is pretty clean. And uh, you can see it's the Sony Dream Machine, FM, AM, digital clock radio. Uh, everything works on it, um, and I'm going to plug it in and show you. Uh, the only thing I did notice about this here is um, I don't know. I would think a light would go on here when you t plug it in and you turn it on. I know the LED lights up, and I'm going to leave this little stick on here. I think this came with it. So if you see like it's a little semi peeling off, I'm not going to glue it on because you could damage the plastic. You might want to even take it off. Some people are selling these, put this not on. Um, I'm going to leave it on in the meantime. If you want to take it off, you're the lucky buyer and you want to take it off, that's up to you. Um, I don't think, I don't know. I would think this would light up, but I guess they're probably figuring during the day you could see. But let's see what happens here anyway. I mean, I tested out once before to make sure it works. Okay, so uh, let's turn it. I got an extension cord right over here, and uh, let's take this out here, and you will see that it works. Um, I do, like I said, I, if this is the first time it comes to my YouTube channel, I do these videos here to um, show the potential buyers that you're not getting something that's going to arrive to you dead on arrival, so to speak. Um, you know it's going to work. Again, now it's plugged in. As you can see, the uh, light is blanking on here at a time. I'm going to turn the radio on, but I, like I said, again, I don't know. I would think that... A light should be on here so you can see it you know uh, there's no dimming light switch you like sometimes you could dim these things here I was looking at the controls uh, the controls over here you have a uh, push uh, fast slow uh, time set alarm set on off you know uh, buzzer radio but I don't see anything where you could actually uh, lighten and brighten you know, dim the lights here some of the clock radios had that this particular one don't uh, there's no other buttons on it that I could see so uh, it's pretty much the way it is, you know. And it's overall very clean. It's pretty clean considering. It's a pretty clean unit, to be honest with you. Okay. So let me turn on the radio and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Now this is an AM band. Today it's playing good. I guess the reception is good. The weather's a little better today. Yesterday we had overcast and rain. Uh, you can see over here, it, like, it doesn't light up. I don't know if that's the way they come. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't think so. But, you know, the thing is with clock radios, uh, you know, I don't think people are going to listen to them every day. It's not like a, something like a stereo you're going to turn where you would need the light there. Um, you can see it up close, of course. And I think with the way, it would, the way I look at it anyway, if I was to buy this clock radio, uh, I would just set it for the, you know, for the time I'm going to get, you know, for the radio station I'm going to listen to, whether it be news, music or whatever, and let it be. Um, if you're a person that wants to listen to like a regular stereo and you want to turn the dials all the time, keep tuning in, that's a different story. But um, as you can see, when the radio's on, I just lowered it down. Uh, you can see there's no, it doesn't light up. Now, I don't know if that's the way it normally is. I would think there would be some kind of lighting in here, but it's not there. And again, uh, it does play good. Um, you know, it's got a nice, sounds really nice on it. Okay. okay. It's got the snooze button here. It's got the on and off. Okay, but we're going to power it up. But you see what I'm talking about? Let me just shut this guy off here. Okay, let me see here. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm just going to lower the volume. <laughs> um, it does work. Everything does work on it. Again, I'm not too sure if, they're, again, they're supposed to light up here. Um, I don't know if this is considered a vintage uh, digital radio. I don't know. I don't know if it is vintage or not. Uh, it is. I haven't, well, to me, it looks old. Um, I don't think Sony still makes them like this today. 
so I would think this would be considered vintage, although I don't see any dates on here as to when it was manufactured. Uh, I'm just looking really quick here, folks. I don't see it. I guess you could do your research on it. Um, but this is what we got going on, folks. And again, if you are interested in this clock radio, uh, please message me on eBay if you got any questions about it. I'd be more than happy to answer anything I can you know, tell you about it. There is no original packaging with this here or use a manual, so it's kind of cut and dry. I think uh, any, a lot of us know how to use uh, just set clock radios, and if you don't, uh, you probably could go to Sony's website and probably get the uh, user manual for it. You know, they'll probably be downloaded a PDF file, most likely. And uh, that's what we got going on, folks. So, again, this video is for the Sony Dream Machine, and it is the FM AM digital clock radio. As you can see, it does work. It powers up. It blinks and everything else, so, so on and so forth. It does play. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about, and as I'm stressing to you, know, you guys here, is um, I don't know if this lights up or not. I couldn't tell you. If it does or not, um, that's all up to you. Uh, but you decide for yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon. And one last thing, folks. If you do buy from me and you do get the item and you're not happy with it, I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you don't have to worry about buying from me. You're not stuck with anything. I'm not going to give you a hard time or anything of that nature. You know, try to, you know, get into a debacle over this year. If you're not happy with it, return it within 30 days. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye now.